guys, it's Sean Malik back here, and today I'm going to be reviewing another Call of Duty Mega Box set. This is a uh, Covert Ops unit, it's a 2015 set. I ordered this on eBay, that's why I got it a little bit early. It, has, it includes 129 pieces and is uh, recommended for ages 10 and up. So, this is probably one of the most like, uh, sought after sets of this uh, wave. Uh, everybody's been anticipating this set. Uh, it's just because of uh, the name characters we get in it. None of these name characters are new or anything, but it's just so nice to get them at such a small price. So, uh, I'll show you guys the figures in a second, but here's a look at the box, the front of the, the front of the box. Got a nice action shot going. Uh, so these are all covert ops troopers. All, all these figures are ghosts, I guess. Uh, I don't know if you could consider this guy a ghost or not. He didn't really have the ghost mask, but I guess you could. Here's a look at the back of the box. Shows all the accessories that included the weapons, the belt, the knives, all that. And some nice action so shots, uh, night vision, a lot of stuff like that. So, uh, yeah, so there's your box, guys. Now let's take a look at the completed set. Here's a completed set, now let's take an up close look at the figures. So here's our first figure. Uh, this is a uh, Logan, or it could be considered Elias from Call of Duty Ghost. Uh, this is probably one of the reasons that most of you guys are going to get this set, just because of the name characters that are in it. It's very nice that we're getting name characters in, like, as, in a small price set like this. Uh, this is probably my favorite figure in the set. I really like his mask, I just like how it looks. It looks very nice. So he's got kind of like a metallic uh, uh, blue color, or dark bluish gray color. Uh, uh, throat. Uh, his uh, t uh, torso piece is a uh, uh, dark gray. His legs are in that like that blue uh, type. I don't know how to explain it. It's, a met it's like a metallic uh, uh, blue, uh, covert ops blue. So his vest is that same color, and he's got some uh, other uh, lighter gray accents across his uh, across the figure. Uh, his mask is probably like the nicest part. You could attach that to any, like any torso and instantly uh, make that turn that into Logan. Uh, he's over here. He's using a, a heavy machine gun. I guess this is well. It's like an assault rifle with just the the heavy machines, uh, heavy um, machine stock. So, and on the side right here, he doesn't have a knife, a combat knife uh, that he can use. Uh, there's nothing on the side leg, but you can customize the stuff around to uh, make things how you want them to be. So on his uh, on his uh, torso or on his uh, vest over here, you got a frag grenade and another uh, another ammo clip, so you can turn this into like an assault rifle, I guess. So yeah, so there is uh, your Logan figure or Elias, whatever you want to call it. So here we have Hesh. Uh, he's using that same metallic blue color that was used on Logan earlier, uh, except this time it's on his torso as well as on his legs. His uh, boots are pr are painted in black, so that's a a nicer feature that we get. His vest is in black, and so are the straps on his legs. On his forearms, he has kind of this armor padding. That's uh, it's, a, it's just a forearm piece that's uh, also in black right there. So that's pretty nice. He's wielding just a regular one pistol, uh, and on his legs, he has two combat knives, which is pretty cool. He can go Kimbo with that, I guess. His uh, face printing and face uh, and head mold are really nice. He has that uh, that cap on that, and then uh, painted over with the skull mask, the skull of the of the ghosts. So that that just looks really nice. Uh, I think the one included in the helicopter set did not have the skull painting uh, on his face. So this one, so all these figures in the set I, are, are new characters, but they are new variants of each character. Uh, we have seen Logan before too. Uh, we have seen Hesh in the in that helicopter set, but now we're seeing him again in a different variant. And it's uh, a lot easier to get him in the set because it's so it's so much cheaper. Uh, but yeah, I think I probably like this one better. I just like the color scheme of his outfit. But yeah, so there is a uh, Hesh. Next figure is another unnamed ghost. Uh, I guess you could consider this guy a ghost because he. Uh, uh, I think every single character in the set is supposed to be a ghost. He's just wearing a helmet in this one. Uh, this guy is pretty much the Juggernaut that we saw in the little uh, Juggernaut eight dollar set. It's just that he's uh he's just using doesn't have the Juggernaut chest plate on. He's just using a regular chest plate. So I don't really see what's so covert about this guy. He's even wielding an RPG over here. I don't know how you're gonna sneak up on anybody with that. But it still looks really nice. Nice to get the RPG, and uh, his. I really like the uh, the molding of his legs and on his forearms. It looks very nice. He has two straps on his legs. This guy looks a lot bulkier than the rest. And uh, yeah, so this is just a regular unnamed ghost. So here's our next ghost figure. Uh, I don't know. This isn't a, this isn't actually a named character. I guess you could say this is Keegan, as it does look a lot like him as he does in the game. So, and he also has the the night vision goggles as well. And he has a very nicely printed skull. I really like that. I really like that printing. I kind of wish this uh, printing was on a on a head without the goggles. I don't really like the night vision goggles that much. But that's that printing on the that, or that painting uh, paint application on the head is very very nice. I really like that. 
So this figure, I guess you could say is Keegan. Uh, if you don't want, you could just say he's whoever. It doesn't really matter. But uh, yeah, so he's pretty nice. Uh, pretty nice. He's not using that you know, metallic blue color. He's using just like a kind of like a dark, dark uh, olive green, I guess. That also runs out through his gun and um, light gray for accents. His pants are in all black. And uh, so yeah, that's pretty much it. Now I don't know if you guys can see this or not, but there's one major, major problem with this figure. Uh, as I move his leg up, I think you guys will see his knee or his uh, his leg over there is not even connected whatsoever. This is just a this just broke off. Yeah, uh, Mega Box is known for giving us like uh, malformed parts and whatnot, but this is just terrible. I opened a set. And this part was just broken. I mean, I, I there's no way I can connect. There's the peg that allows you to connect it to uh, into the socket inside the knee. It, it's just not there. I don't know. I don't know what to say about that. That's terrible by Mega Box. Uh, uh, it, it's not that bad for me. I, I can go call and uh, get this part get this part replaced. But if I was like a little kid that like spent like uh, I don't know his own allowance or something on the set, and then I found that like uh, this part was broken and couldn't get a new one, and this figure's pretty much trash now because of this. Uh, yeah, I'd be pretty pissed off about that, I guess. This did really bug me. Like Mega Box, you guys gotta step it up. Like uh, this figure, this set is supposed to be so awesome, and this was just a huge buzzkill to that. Like this was, this would have been the perfect set. I would have, I, I had so much high hopes for it, and this kind of just killed the mood. But uh, yeah, so I just wanted to point that guys out. This was just with my set though. This doesn't happen that often, uh, but it does happen way too frequently. It shouldn't be happening at all, I, I should say. Uh, so yeah, that's uh, there's the figure, uh, there's the Keegan figure, I guess you could say. Now here's a fan favorite figure. This is Riley from Call of Duty Ghost. He's the dog that was uh, that's uh, Hesh, uh, Hesh's and Logan's dog. Uh, He's a uh, pretty violent. He's really cool, and uh, everybody just kind of liked Riley. I don't think there's anybody that didn't like Riley. Uh, this figure is not new at all. We've gotten two other sets, not with this new metallic uh, blue uh, covert, uh, covert type uh, armor plating, but uh, we have seen him in sets, seen, seen him in sets before, like the ten dollar set Vulture Drone Attack and in the helicopter set, uh, the heavy attack, uh, heavy attack helicopter. This uh, dog is super articulated. Each leg moves on its own uh, like axis I guess so you can have one leg going up one leg going down you can do that for the front and back legs so that is very nice uh, a lot of my parts here are still a little stiff because they were out in the cold a little bit too long uh, his tail does move individually as well so that's very nice so does his head and his neck this figure is just super articulated it's just this is just a very nice uh, looking uh, uh, dog for an, uh, for an action figure system and the coolest part about this figure is that all his armor is removable uh, so this vest thing can come off just like that uh, on this he has like a little radio uh, thing I guess this I guess this could be representing the thing that you use uh, in the game when you're controlling Riley yeah I guess that's what it's supposed to represent but uh, yeah, so you got that on the, on the top. You can also attach other things like other accessories, like magazines and whatnot, onto the sides. Or if you want to take that off, you take it off completely and put something else on there. You, I guess you could. You can take his head off and remove this uh, this neck armor right here, and then put his head back on. And that's just gonna leave him as a regular dog. He still looks pretty cool like this though. Yeah, I, I really like I, I really like Riley. This figure's really cool. He's nothing that new though. We've we have seen him before, so it's not that special. But it's great to have him in the Call of Duty Ghost set because uh, he is a ghost himself, even though he's just a dog. But still, it's great to get Riley uh, again for like another time in a new variant. So it's great. So yeah, guys, uh, there's your Riley figure. If I can just get this back on. Oh, sorry, it's wrong. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, there you go. Sorry about that. Uh, yeah, so there's your Riley figure, guys. Now let's move on to the actual build of the set. What we get here is, I guess, like a little like factory or, or warehouse depot type setting. Uh, it's just a pretty basic thing. We get uh, four pillar pieces, which are nice. These are pretty useful. We get a, a large little a large base plate right here. Uh, you can pose a lot of figures down here. And there's a, uh, two great pieces up here with other base plates. So you can pose figures all along the top and the bottom. 
we do get this nice staircase piece so you can have some action scenes going like that there are two clips right here uh, so you can uh, attach weapons and whatnot if you want and keep them up and keep them right there so you can post figures all over this thing it's a pretty decent build nothing really special the whole reason you're going to be getting the set is for the figures obviously but it's nice to get uh, a little nice build like this so you can have like an action scene on I guess or a little fight scene going on yeah so there it is guys there there's the build uh, I really like these yellow pieces up here that's one cool thing I, I just thought they would look nice but yeah so there's the build of the set before we conclude this review I'm going to show you guys the instruction booklet unfortunately this is one of the fold up ones not the actual booklets so it does just yeah you guys see, I've, all, I've all seen this before so it just shows you how to build the figures and all that type of stuff and yeah so there it is guys there's your instruction booklet so yeah guys, there's your look at the new 2015 Call of Duty Megabox set Covert Ops unit. This is probably going to be one of the most highly uh, bought sets in my opinion. I think this is one of the most uh, highly anticipated sets as well. It's just so nice to get a true pack with named characters. I think Megabox really needs to continue on this. I, I really want to see an advanced uh, warfare version type set like this. Uh, maybe like Gideon and Mitchell and people like that. Just That'd be a really nice set to have. Uh, we will be getting an advanced warfare, suit, advanced warfare set soon. <clears throat> uh, but not in this, uh, I think later this wave. So yeah, but this uh, set is really nice. It's, uh, it's really unfortunate that uh, I got a messed up part here and that it completely ruined one of the figures. Like, uh, yeah, that's really, really unfortunate. Megabox really needs to fix this problem that they're having with the with their parts uh, molding. Uh, I don't know how that even happened, but uh, it's, that's, that's just really unfortunate. That won't happen to all of you guys, though. If it does happen to you, you guys can go on their parts form and just uh, replace the part. Uh, you can contact them and they'll replace it for free. <clears throat> but, yeah, uh, other than that, uh, for the set, uh, for what the set is, it is actually a really, really nice set. Uh, I really like the figures. Logan, Hesh, uh, Keegan, I guess you could say that it is. Riley, that unnamed guy. It was really cool because he has a lot of armored uh, uh, pieces on him. Uh, this whole set is just really nice. I think it... Uh, I think it really shows uh, uh, what the Mega Box designers are capable of. Uh, it's just such a nice set. Uh, one thing that I did want to point out, though, uh, usually that when we get a true pack or any other large set that is uh, above the ten dollars price range, around the fifteen dollars to or higher, we usually get a care package. Uh, I don't know if they're going to be ending this uh, this tradition they sort of have with uh, the Call of Duty Mega Box sets, but in this set, I did not get a care package. <clears throat> I don't, I'm not sure if you're supposed to if you're supposed to be getting one, but. I didn't even have that many uh, extra accessories. I think the only extra accessory I had was uh, the smaller magazine clip for uh, Logan right here, which I just uh, placed onto his vest. So there were uh, usually we get like a ton of accessories that you can just uh, mix and match with, but I, I guess we just didn't get that this time. Hopefully, Mega Boss does not end that. I really like that part about their troop builder packs. If they are ending that, Mega Boss, you need to bring that back. That that was a uh, that was one great part of your. Uh, true building sets so please do not end that part of uh, your sets but other than that guys this set is a uh, really great I do recommend it uh, it's gonna be hitting your st uh, store shelves soon I picked this up off eBay I had to pay a little uh, I think double the money of what it usually is uh, but it, uh, it's pretty worth it's worth it I wanted to get a, uh, I wanted to be first to get a show it to you guys uh, so yeah so yeah I did, I did pray, uh, pay a little bit uh, hold on a little bit, like double the money that it usually costs. Usually, co this will be costing around uh, fifteen uh, dollars. Uh, I had to pay around thirty for it. Uh, it's all good though. I got it. I got this extremely, extremely early. Uh, but so yeah, uh, the set's just really great. I do recommend it. Uh, when the set co does come out in your area, definitely pick one up. Whether you like Call of Duty Ghost or not, I'm not even the biggest fan of Ghost, but I do just like the head molds. Uh, how the Ghost mask looks, it looks very nice to me. Uh, <coughs> even Hesh's face, you can just. Uh, use him as like a jungle ops trooper or somebody he's wearing camouflage on his face it just looks really nice so uh, if you guys enjoyed this review please remember to like this video uh, like this video and uh, tell me what you guys think in the comments below uh, so uh, and if you want to see other uh, Call of Duty Megavox sets uh, I'm gonna be getting the other 2015 ones I haven't ordered any yet but uh, I will be soon I'm trying to get the Icarus troopers and all, all that stuff but uh, I will be getting them soon, and when I do, I will be reviewing them. Also, I do have a lot of the 2014 Call of Duty Megavox sets that I just have lying around. They're still built up. They're still intact. Uh, if you guys want to see reviews on that, please let me know in the comments below, and I will be glad to review them for you guys. Uh, I know it'd be, it would be a little bit late, and you guys probably own a lot of the sets already, but if you guys just would just like to hear my opinion on it, I'll be more than happy to do it for you guys. But uh, yeah, I guess that's it, guys. So 
Uh, if you enjoyed this video, please uh, remember to hit that like button. Subscribe <coughs> subscribe for more Halo Mega Bloks, Call of Duty Mega Bloks, Assassin's Creed Mega Bloks, and Lego Star Wars reviews. And uh, maybe some mocks. Uh, I'm going to be, po I might be uploading some videos on some mocks that I will be making soon. So, uh, yeah. And let me know let me know what you guys think in the comments below. So, uh, I guess that's, guess that's it, guys. I'll see you guys later. Peace.